What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial or walk through the TimeStripe organization platform and its different features. So uh, TimeStripe is great if you want to organize your projects, your tasks for personal life or for your work. So you need to go to their website, that's timestripe.com and you'll be redirected to their homepage here. Uh, there is nothing actually to see other than a video introduction so you can play to get introduced to the platform and here you can start for free we'll do that in a second however let's first check their pricing because the service is not free you have the basic plan which is of course the free limited plan and you have uh, a monthly plan of $15 a month or if you pay yearly it'll be $7.50 a month and here you have the strategist's plan, which is $5 a month, uh, paid yearly, uh, if you pay for five years. So here you can choose your plan. However, I'll just go with the basic plan for this video. And you need to create a free account here. So I'll need to enter my email and password to get started. Or you can sign up with Google or Facebook or Apple. So uh, I'm going to sign up with email here. However, in this video, I'm going to sign up with email. So I've set up like a disposable email. I'm not going to use my uh, real email. However, if you are signing up, of course you should use your real email. So I'm going to uh, use this dummy email and set up a password. Okay, and then get started. And then they give me like a pop-up with some uh, like features here in a to-do list or a task uh, format. So. Uh, start here you have the goal the main goal it's the start here and you have sub goals and if i click on a sub goal here i can uh, see more on this specific sub goal so the instructions are laid out in a sub goal format which is pretty cool and here uh, it's in like the know-how it's the in the description format so of course you can add a description for any goal or sub goal okay so i'll go back to the start here the main goal and once I'm there, let's go to boards, for example. And if I click on it, I'll expand what boards are. So boards are basically goal containers. So uh, if you are used to using a platform such as Trello, you are used to uh, how boards look like. And here I can use templates in boards. I, they offer images as well. So this is in like a comment. So you know you can, in each goal or sub goal, you can add description, text description, images, uh, videos, or uh, comments and stuff like that. And let's go back to start here and they give you like a video introduction and once you've seen it all and you are ready to use it just click on ok and you'll be redirected to your main dashboard so here i have the today i have the main tasks for the day of course this is the dummy or the test task that is added the start here and here i have the main tasks for today and this is the sample task that is added so the how to i can of course add many so let's say test task here enter and if i click on test task i can add a description i can add sub goal so let's say sub goal one and sub goal two for example i can add a description so this is a description okay i can add a comment i can add uh, all sorts of media uh, such as images attachments emojis and so much more and here they give me a power where i can install the app here on my mobile so they give me a QR code i'll do it later and here i've set up the test task here so okay and i can view here uh, this is the daily view i can view the hours here in a weekly view so i can view my tasks in an hourly basis so uh, each task i even view here the tasks that are due in this hour and the days i can view days so it doesn't matter here uh, in which hour so i can view the task laid by days i can view them by week or in a month view or in a year view here in the years let's go back to horizons and here i have week i have month i have year so i can so this is a pretty cool view i can view today's tasks as well as this week's this month and this year's and all the life tasks in one single view which is pretty cool and here i have my boards i have the inbox i have chart projects the all the projects that i'm working on which are laid out in a task are laid out in the to do in progress and done and i can move each task here let's say to do it now in progress and now it's done so uh, much like a board view like trello and i can add also a new board 
Now here I have the horizons. I have my insights and my statistics, uh, which are laid out here in a cool equation. So uh, here I have the score. And if I go here, I can view all the uh, tasks done. As you can see here, I have one uh, zero tasks done of four in June of 2024, which is this year. And this is today where I created this account. I have my gallery where I can view all my uh, images or my media. And here I have a Kanban 101. What is Kanban? So it's like um, a mini tutorial on how to use the Kanban view. I can use it as a template. And I can use here, I have many templates that I can use to organize my data. And here I have the climbs where I can reach big goals with small steps. So I can add here uh, many types of data. I can plan yearly content. So these are like pre made uh, planners 30 days mindful challenge, 12 steps to launch business venture. So these are like plans that I can add to follow up to achieve a certain goal. And they are laid out in a strategy and management, productivity, education, creativity, health, and mindfulness. So for example, if I explore the strategy and management, I have the plan yearly content, 75 hard, which is the Andy Fersalas program, if you haven't heard of it, the motivation tips. So if I click on it, I can see it's 75 days. And if I start today, let's, uh, I can view here some more info about the program. Okay, let's get started for now. And these are the tasks here. So uh, they are laid out in 75 uh, tasks or 75 days. And as you can see here, this is Friday, this is today and tomorrow, uh, day after and so much more. Okay, so if I click on any of them, I can view all the tasks uh, demanded for this day. If you don't know the 75 hard, it's basically a commitment program where you are committed to doing these tasks every single day without any excuses or skip. And if you fail on one day, you have to restart. So that's an insight of the program. And here, let's say I've completed the tasks for today. And and the day after you can see these are the same tasks. So it's like a plan where I can follow. So that's pretty cool. It's a uh, like a, I can have plans or pre made plans to follow to reach my goal as well as adding my own tasks. And here I can add comments and insights on each day. So uh, that's a pretty cool tool to use if you want to plan and organize your life as well as for your business. So you can use it for your personal life or your business. If I go to personal I can see here my own tasks. However, if I go here to my climbs, I can see here my uh, climbs that I do have. And here I can add a new climb. So let's say I can I want to add a new commitment plan, I can add it here as a climb and share it with the community if I want to. So uh, here is the 75 hard that is added. And if I go here to my uh, insights, I can see here that today's score is uh, six because I added another plan here and so much more. So if I go here to uh, the projects, I can see the projects view as well. So that was like a quick overview of the Timestripe management or task management platform and its different features.